Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Falcon and Winter Soldier series Baron Zemo. So let's go over the packaging here first. So we get the Falcon and Winter Soldier logo there, with the Disney Plus logo there, and Baron Zemo. Marvel Legends logo on the top there. Here's the side art of Baron Zemo with this mask on. Here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read this, you can. Marvel Legends logo on the top corner there. Picture of Baron Zemo. Ooh, and knocked my thing. And then here we're building Captain America's wings where we went over Loki. We get White Vision with the series. I meant the wave, uh, Scarlet Witch. And then we got uh, Winter Soldier, then US Agent, Baron Zemo, and then Falcon or Captain America. And then here's the bomb with the DCI, uh, DCPI. And then here's the bomb with nothing. I meant the top with nothing. Um, so uh, this one I'm going to be doing my videos if you haven't watched the Loki one yet. Uh, so. Um, I'm going to transition this into the beach just like this. And here we are in the beachy background here, like we were in Loki. So over the accessories for Ben Zemo. So first we get Falcon's wing, or Captain America's wing. I keep forgetting to call him Cap hey, Captain America now. Uh, so yeah, we'll go over that when we build them. So we'll put that back here. And then we get the Winter Soldier book here from Civil War. So yeah, it comes with that black star. You get that nice leathery paint job there. It looks pretty good. So yeah, nice weathered look to it. Very shiny though, but still brings that like the leathery look to it. And then you get this little pistol here. Nice gold pistol for Baron Zemo. Not an actual pistol. Doesn't look like a real one, at least. Um, but yeah interesting pistol to use for him and then you get two fisted hands here for him so you get this nice dark purple texture uh, nice dark purple coloring for the uh hand here and then you get some black nice textured like padding around the heart hand here so you get some like on the inside here fingers and then some more on the forehand here so it looks good nice and clean they did really good on the texturing for this. So yeah, there's that. And then you get another head sculpt for him and his purple mask here. The only problem that I feel like I have with... Uh, mm. All right, the one thing that I had a problem with that I've seen with other people, it looks like that high, uh, the cheekbones went high, but mine looks fine, so I don't know. But yeah, sculpting looks good on this. I will have him wear it at some point here. Uh, in the video to show you guys what it looks like but yeah you get that nice purple colored here and you get the nice textured lines here that looks good sculpted lines i mean yeah and then you get the eyebrows in there but it looks like it's missing half of it and then you get the eyes painted in there that looks good and it doesn't look like they're cockeyed or anything like that so that's also really good and then yeah you get some of that like baron zemo's head in there <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's the other hit sculpt for him. And then we got a Baron Zemo up close. So here's his unmasked head here. So it looks pretty good. Um, the hair looks accurate. Nice dark brown hair for him. Like, uh, cleaned up real well. There's some, I don't know if that's scuffing or that's just freckles for him. I can't tell. But yeah, you get eyebrows, looks good. Eyes don't look cockeyed or anything like that, so that's also really good. And you get this nice jacket for him, looks real accurate from the movie. So, so you get these nice buttons here. I wish they painted those gold, maybe. Um, and you get this nice sculpt here for the jacket, and then you get the fur piece on the collar, nice white fur there so that's very accurate and he gets this like robe shirt thing here for him the purple uh looks interesting i don't know if you wore that in the show or not and then here's the sleeves no pinholes that's nice and then you get this gun holding hand for him there and then you get this like finger pointing here for him which i think is supposed to be pointing at the book when he's holding it um and then here's his pants here so you get the gray the silver buckle there you get some interesting looking belt here the pants look good you get the seams still got pinholes for the knees and then you get these like very classy looking shoes for him 
that have buckles. They did a good job at painting them. You got the buttons in there too. But yeah, uh, but besides that, let's go over the articulation for him. So his head can, it's a ball joint, just an FY. So it can go down that far, only up that far. The collar get, kind of gets in the way there. You go look left and right. He has some head pivoting there. Shoulders can move out just that far, not a whole lot. 360 rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that go way past 90 degrees, so that's good. Uh, wrists can hinge. I don't know if, yeah, so that one does not want to hinge. They don't want to hinge because the, the sleeves are kind of blocking it from doing that. So, uh, but you get 360 rotation out of that. Uh, he has an ab crunch that make him, whoa, that's his legs. There we go, clicky. Uh, it goes down that far. Backwards, none, because the go long coat gets in the way. He has a waist swivel that makes him go 360 rotation around there. His legs can kick out that far. That's really good. Kick forward that far. Backwards, just a little bit, not a whole lot. Thigh cut. I cut double jointed knees here. They go past 90 degrees. Uh, ankles can hinge down that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot and no shin cut. So yeah, that's Baron Zima for you. Um, so uh, I recommend getting them. Their articulation is kind of iffy. Uh, I would say the shoulders can use a little bit more work. Uh, ab crunch, not a whole lot. He's standing up most of the time, so I don't care uh, that much for it. Um, Besides that, that's really it. It's mainly the shoulders for me and, uh, and the wrists, but eh. that's also iffy. I don't care that much for it, but um, still recommend getting him. He was really cool. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying like the beachy looking background there uh, that I have going since I'm down here. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure you guys are checking my Twitch. Uh, it's the Hunter Collector. I'm not on it right now because of I'm out of town. I don't have my PlayStation on me, so I'm not streaming. Um, but yeah, but I will be posting these while I'm on vacation still. So, I mean, obviously, if you're seeing this right now, yes, I'm posting them. Um, I also got vlogs coming out too for this trip, so keep an eye on that. Um, but yeah, that's all I got.